Fujifilm X100 has been one of our favourite cameras of the last couple of years and Fujifilm have just announced the X100S, the replacement to the X100. We're pleased to say they've kept the retro design that we all loved, but there's been some subtle changes. Uh, a couple of these include the A button has now uh, got a more distinct separation from the shutter speeds, the viewfinder switch is more pronounced and has got a slightly different look, while the autofocus button uh, you've got continuous now sits in the middle and single AF sits at the end so it's easier and quicker to flick to single focus. With the X-Trans CMOS sensor in both the X-Pro1 and X-E1 going down the storm it's no surprise to find that a new X-Trans CMOS sensor has found its way into the X100S. The 16.3 megapixel chip has been newly developed uh, and we expect an impressive performance from it. Along with the EXR2 processor uh, it's now got a burst mode of 6 frames a second while Fujifilm also claim that ISO has been improved to be reduced by 30%. One of the complaints levelled at the X100 was its relatively poor AF performance and with the new X100S, Fujifilm claim that the X100S now has the fastest AF performance of an APS-C uh, compact with a fixed lens. The X100S maintains the clever hybrid viewfinder which switches between optical and electronic but the resolution has been increased to over 2.3 million dots. Video has also been updated, so rather than the 720p that you got with the X100, the X100S can now shoot at full 1080p in HD. The X100 was a lovely compact camera, and with the X100S it looks a very promising upgrade, especially with its new chip. Prices are expected to be uh, £1,049, and availability should be able to pick one up from uh, early March this year at Focus on Imaging.